This is a little town right after the first little town that gave us signs. There's the tiny little church in this town. And I'm just going to swing around behind. We have some interesting architecture. The remains of this little village. Look at this remaining architecture. I think the lower floor is used, the upper store maybe. And it may be they like it just like this, even if they do live inside of it. And if you want to hide out from the world, there's a little spot you can buy. Here's the nest of a bird, too impatient to wait for them to build the church. This little church, but well kept. It has just some bird, emerging bird nests on top, it looks like. Often you see smaller churches now, but with kind of piquant designs to them. Well, we're now back in a very pretty agricultural green area. And this should continue all the way to Santiago, from what I understand. Probably excepting for the cross over those mountains there. Looking back the way I've come, very pretty view. It's a very pretty area with chestnut trees. It looked like peach trees, but I think they're chestnuts. Here are a pretty little spot someone has created for we Pedagrinos to rest. And <clears throat> a little sign over here says 194.5 kilometers. So in about 90 kilometers is where a goodly number of people start because they can get away with having the credential say that they did the Camino. Looking down the trail, I'll pan across this vineyard and this pretty area to the south, to the south. It's an extension, I think, of the mountain range I crossed over yesterday. It's an interesting thatched building. I don't know what it's for. Raised, of course. Serves the function of putting wagons under it, but why raised? Keep something out of it? Just wanted to get a little shot of this pretty little old stone church. Capilla San Roque. Interesting wall mural. This is the River Qua. Looking upriver. Yeah, up river. We were looking downstream from this bridge in a very pretty area for walking. Particularly for the older gentleman to my right. This is our bridge. We come here to chat with each other and for coffee probably. I can't be sure how this thing works, but this huge beam looks like it's got something to do with wine pressing, but or grape pressing, but I think it pivots down there. They've recreated this uh, infrastructure of the base out of stone. And then up here where we have uh, this big stone and then that screw up there. So how it worked, I don't know, but notice the steel bands to hold this together. Uh, I see. Oh, I see. Huh. Huh. I'm guessing that this old church has been converted into this albergue municipal de Cacabelos. If so, interesting place to hang out. And on two sides of this church and albergue is this very pretty park which would make this a very lovely place to spend the night. As I was walking along, I saw some branches lying in the road over there. And I couldn't imagine what they were for. And as I walked along there, um, a branch fell and then I stopped and I looked up and sure enough there was an older man up there. You can see him from behind here. Uh, trimming the tree, so he and I chatted for a while. I wish that I could have remembered the word for angel, so I could have called him Angel de Camino de Santiago, 
It was only afterward I remembered Los Angeles is Angel. This started out looking like a dinky little town, but it's really not. It's a fairly decent sized dinky little town. And the architecture is very interesting. Here you can see someone that looks like they may be trying to restore that particular building. Here, just as I leave town, look at this little neighborhood of homes. Look at that dormers up on top of those two houses. And then this what caught my attention is that arched staircase. And you can see this is a fairly substantial building with this patio out back and garden. It could be quite the lovely place if you had the bucks to fix it up and a reason to be here. Here I'm panning again from the south, swinging towards the west across this very pretty agricultural area I'm in. Just climbed a steep hill, and if you can just make out that road over there, you may be able to see the last Pettigrino getting over the top somewhere there of that little hill. So it's down to the right and up there. Eventually, maybe over the top today, I'm not sure. Okay, this looks like a castle, and we're looking at two rounded turret-like towers. What's curious about them is the horizontal slots as opposed to the vertical slots. I'll probably spend the night here because it's after two o'clock and that's eight hours of walking. That's about an hour longer than I want to walk normally. The praying man is in the street. I don't know how to get him out. He can fly. The small town I'm leaving this morning, probably about 8 o'clock, I've been out for a couple hours. The people up here are people just getting started. A little church there, this is a modern part of town. Just pan through it, no big surprise. <clears throat> but isn't this a lovely bucolic scene right here? A very pretty place to live if you had any reason to. I mean, the little town of Herreri, Herradias, 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 that's how you say it. Very pretty rural area, starting with that church. Looking back where I've come this morning, top of this ridge line is O Sebreiro, which is the, supposed to be the highest point and the most difficult climb, but doesn't seem to be that big a deal. Some old kind of wagon, you probably hook one mule up to it, maybe two, I don't know. Blast from the past in this little town. What's interesting about these little, very bucolic mountain towns is, I can't see it from here, the huge freeway system that usually runs up above them. And this little piece of furniture stuck by the side of the road appears to be the remains of something like a pinball machine. Probably you'd put the ball, somehow you'd get the ball to flip into there. Hopefully you can get it in the frog's mouth where you have to run it through those little tunnels and into the holes. Huh. Starting from way down in those valleys somewhere, we've climbed up to here. Couple down there stupidly with two dogs. God, are people dumb. And our route takes us up there to that ridge line somehow. I just stopped in the last little bar and a farm it looked like. It may be a community with a name, I don't know. Up there you see two roads. The bottom one is our path up towards the top. And it may continue all the way up into there to get to O.C. Uh, Braib, Braero. And this is just an idea of where we've come the trail going back down through here. I haven't stopped at all except to stand up and drink a agua con gas. Just another pretty pan of this spectacular landscape.